All right, the grand old question of 2024, is junk removal a good business to start in the year that we live in, 2024? I will answer this question based off some of my experiences. I don't think this is facts. This is just based off purely my experience being in the field for the past seven years. What's going on guys? My name is Ivan with Thriving Home Services. I have been in this business for seven years. I've been running a successful business and I still have it. There's some exciting things coming i'll share with you guys as soon as it's done but yeah let me answer this question the answer to this question is yes and no but first let me share a little bit more with you guys i have been in business for over the past 10 years i have started and grown over four local home service businesses and now we run a successful digital marketing agency plus a software solution for you guys so yeah this is me this is my experience i haven't been the most successful person in the world obviously i've had to learn through a lot of failures and mistakes but that has never stopped me from pursuing my dreams and i hopefully am here to just share value with you guys help you guys out if you are in search of starting a new business in 2024 you're going to want to watch this video you're going to want to watch it all the way through because some of these info that are in here has personally come from experience and some of the numbers are just good to know if you're starting a junk removal business in 2024 and if you're not well whatever enjoy this content guys let's get into it all right a little bit about me this is before i started a junk removal business i was running a landscaping business more of like landscape construction we would do paver patios we would do whole landscape rip out and install i ran this business in california and funny story Story. I got fed up with just the California regulations and all this stuff. I was a young kid just trying to make my way, hustle and grind. And I got so sick and tired of California. So I decided to pack my truck, put all of my equipment in there back then i had a stand on skid steer man i was a go-getter i wasn't the smartest guy i wasn't the brightest guy but i was a go-getter that's who i've always been i see something i go after it that's just how i'm wired and so back then this is probably 2015 2016 something like that i literally packed my truck i had a 7.3 turbo diesel ford f250 back then packed all my equipment got my truck and i drove from the state of california all the way to the state of florida and i made it in like five days or something this is crazy guys i actually stayed at my friend's ranch and he had a on land boat and i actually slept in that boat for like two months three months until i got a fifth wheel rv parked it at his property stayed in that thing for another like couple months and then the landowner was like y'all i had enough of this get this rv out of here so i actually ended up selling this rv or something like that and by the grace of god my credit wasn't the greatest back then literally only by the grace of god i went on craigslist i found a apartment and same day that i looked at it and i asked a real estate agent and person the owner of that apartment chose to do business with me instead of someone that had completely better resume than me basically credit score just because i was a young kid starting a business in the state of florida and so so thankful for that journey but I ran that business in Florida for about a year and I've always wanted to grow a business that would operate without me. Basically a business that I can work on, not in, like doing the physical labor itself. And then in the state of Florida in about 2016 or 2017, something like that, Hurricane Irma came in and blew in. And I was a young kid. I had a thousand bucks in my bank account. I was like, this is going to be bad. If this actually happens the way that they're saying that it's going to happen, I'm like, I got to get out of the state of Florida. So, and back then I was like, 
I knew no one there. All I would do there is just work and just not in the healthy spot back then. I would just drink a six pack every day. Just not a healthy spot. I took a vacation to California for two weeks and I came back and I was like, this is incredible. I love this weather. And I was like, dude, California is my home. What am I doing in Florida? So I came back, the hurricane came and I was like, you know what? Every single gas station was being sold out of gas and thank God I had a diesel back then I literally packed up my stuff and back then my brothers were living with me so we both packed up I paid my last months of rent cleaned out the place and got in my truck packed up my stuff and this time I brought my dump trailer and my truck all my equipment with me and then we drove back to the state of California and as soon as we were entering our truck my dump trailer actually broke down before in Florida but my truck this time overheated and it was just a big old mess somehow by the grace of God we actually made it to my house in California to our parents house and it was crazy I was like trying to figure out I'm like all right what do I do now do I want to start another landscaping business here because that's all I've been doing recently you know yeah from that point on I was like trying to search out what I wanted to do and I posted my dump truck and truck for sale on Craigslist and I actually had two buyers come by both at the same time one for the truck and one for the dump trailer and they both agreed to buy it and the guy that was buying the truck agreed to haul the dump trailer for the guy that was buying the dump trailer so it was like it totally worked out like totally awesome and then I decided to go and look at this truck I was like well why don't I just buy a dump truck you know I didn't know any better back then and so I was just like bought this truck on a whim it was like three and a half hours away me and my mom went and picked it up just humble beginnings man it was just like incredible and then I had this dump truck now and I'm like okay what do I do with this thing I started going on thumbtack and I started bidding on hauling jobs and I'm like I started doing my research I'm like I wonder if there's a business over here and my friend in Florida mentioned something about this business to me before I was always back in my mind I was like maybe I can start a junk removal business and the first job that I landed was actually a 12 load job back then my load my full load rates were like $250 per load so obviously I landed it now they're at $850 a load so completely different times but I landed that and then a, a light bulb went off in my head I'm like this is incredible I wonder if I can actually build an actual business around this so I bid this job did like 12 loads for this lady and the rest is history i was like i was like wow there's a system here and it's so easy to build it you know all you have to do is figure out your marketing and you know do this so yeah that's my story of how i actually started a junk removal business the rest is history guys i mean there's been so many lessons that i've learned so many mistakes that i've made so many failures my account has been on negative over 20 times but no nah, probably more probably like 50 times i've never had like someone that would teach me finances never had someone that would teach me business my dad wasn't really close to me like you know what i mean i had to like literally just hustle and grind and figure this thing out by myself and because you're doing it that way obviously you're gonna go through a lot of mistakes a lot of failures as long as you don't give up you'll get there so let's get back to some of the numbers okay guys so this business is actually very very profitable if you're gonna be a owner operator or somewhat like very involved in in the business day-to-day -day work itself it's super super profitable you can make over a hundred two hundred thousand dollars net a year by doing it this way that means you're gonna have like two three trucks on the road running you're gonna be making you know 500 a half a million seven hundred thousand eight hundred thousand a year depending on your location as well so it's very very profitable business to have the issue is when it gets down to you trying to scale this business a lot of people think that this business is super super easy to scale i'm here to tell you that that's actually not the case and if you're not in the position to scale as far as like capital goes i would highly caution you to wait 
Like if you're trying to scale, you better have at least $100,000, $250,000 sitting in your bank account in order for you to scale or else you're going to eat it on a lot of different ways in this business. This business can wipe out tons of capital from you like this. It's incredible frustrating. Yeah. So that's my forte on trying to scale this business. I just caution you when you're trying to scale this business. Okay. All right. So unless you own a big portion of the market that you're in, the business gets very unprofitable if you're trying to get off the truck and just having, you know, five, six, 10 guys on payroll. And especially we're in California. So we have a lot of extra expenses, a lot of different types of headaches that we need to, you know, focus on. So yeah, it becomes very, very unprofitable if you don't own a big portion of your market. Like in our area, we have probably over a couple thousand junk removal companies here. And when we started, that was a completely different thing. We, there was only like five, six major companies here. Now there's over a few thousand. So just think about what that does to the market. I'm not saying that you still not, can't make it profitable. There's tons of ways and there's always tons of ways. So I'm not telling you guys that it's not possible. I'm just saying, be very cautious when you're trying to expand just be very cautious and understand the landscape that you are actually in all right so let's dive into what it means to own big portion of your market so you have to be ranking very very well on like google gmb google search gmb yelp stuff like this and have tons of reviews you want to be well known in your local market also you're gonna want to be outbidding everyone on google ads i know google ads is very very expensive but a big portion of jobs actually come from google ads so if you're not doing google ads you're missing out on a lot of money a lot of money that's coming in and the reason why the bid is very very high on google is because it works google works guys if it didn't work people would not be bidding on google ads so if people are telling you that google ads don't work they're lying or they haven't actually got to the point where it was profitable for them so they always complain of like oh it doesn't work it doesn't work google ads works guys you just have to press through and keep pushing and fighting for what is yours so yeah, Google ads works. So if your market is oversaturated, it's going to be kind of hard for you to actually own a big portion of your market, you know, but you're going to have to really, really, really dig your roots in, develop a brand. And yeah, so there's that. It also depends on your location that you're in. We're in California. Everyone with a pickup truck here is starting a business. And I'm sure it's like that where you're at as well, but there could be hidden gyms out there that you're like dude no one there's barely any junk removal companies here in my city that might be a prime place to start a junk removal and most of the time you don't have to have a 500,000 population you know what I mean you don't necessarily have to have that we have found in our local area in Roseville we can do about 250 300 thousand dollars just in our local area right here for Roseville Roseville is one of the best cities to run a junk removal business because the population here is pretty good the economy here is very good placer county is incredible so there's that all right y'all let's get into the numbers this is where the fun stuff happens i love talking about numbers it's one of my favorite things to do so one of our trucks per month can bring in anywhere from like 50 to sixty thousand dollars that's just where we're at if we're running correct google ads if we're running all these marketing methods that we normally do each truck can easily bring 50 to sixty thousand dollars a month if you do two trucks three trucks four trucks it all depends on your market how much of it do you own you know do you have construction accounts you know do you have commercial contracts with other businesses it all depends on all these things there's a lot of factors that go into it but that's about the amount that you can actually bring in per truck without obviously you know overworking your guys and stuff like that daily you should be hitting about 1500 to 2500 dollars 
a day. That is the average. That is what we've seen for the longest time we've been in business. You'll have days where you can hit three to $4,000. Like we just did a, a demo job for $4,000. It was a removal of a sauna, a hot tub, a deck, stuff like that. So you'll have days where you can actually hit the $4,000 mark, but everything in the junk removal industry it levels out, so there's that. Some of the schedules that you're gonna wanna be aware of, Mondays is normally one of the busiest days of the week. Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays are kinda like mediocre. They're still busy days, but they're less busy. Most people want to remove their junk either on Mondays, on Saturdays, Sundays, and probably Tuesdays and Fridays. Like those days are always gonna be busy for you guys. And uh, yeah, so that's about it for the numbers, guys. Sundays, I don't necessarily know. Like those, all the other days, you can bring in anywhere between $1,500 to $2,500 a day. Sundays, we're, we've always been closed on Sundays, so we don't necessarily have too much data on those days because we want to give our guys at least one day of rest. So yeah, that's about it for the pros. Let's dive into the cons. Guys, insurance for this business is super, super expensive. Workers comp insurance is about 10% average. Your labor is pretty expensive. We're in California, labor is continually skyrocketing because of some political crap. But yeah, labor is getting super expensive. Dump fees are always rising as well. Gas fees are rising. The cost of doing business is just going through the roof. Obviously with inflation, everything is rising. What else is in California? This might be not the case for you, but if it's in California, typically everyone else keeps on adopting it. So a uh, USDOT number, CA number is one of the things that you need. A carrier permit you also need in the state of California. Those are just some of the things that can be very uh, challenging when you're dealing here. You also have to offer retirement plans to your employees. So it's just like the cost of doing business sometimes can outweigh the rewards. But if you're just trying to be a solo operator or running two to three trucks, it's still a incredible business to get into. So even though I'm like showing you guys all the headaches and stuff like that, it's still good. Let's see. Also, dealing with employees could be very challenging in this business, unless you're building a culture that people want to be a part of, and then you're really doing your due diligence of not letting just negative culture into your environment. You can do that very, very well, but dealing with just childish employees and stuff like that could be very just difficult. Uh, the turnover rate for this business as well could be kind of difficult if you don't treat your guys well, you know, most of the time they're going to leave. Their stay is probably going to be around four to five months with you. That's unless you have a good culture. Uh, if you focus on a good culture, you can actually eradicate a lot of these issues. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. My notes have been crazy. There's a lot more stuff that I have on there, but those are some key things. Hey, if you're looking to actually start this business and you need help with your marketing, we offer a full package website, SEO, near me sites, SMS, texting campaigns, email campaigns, all this stuff, guys. So if you're interested in learning more, click the link below, book a call with me. I'd love to help you. I have a lot of experience with marketing. I love marketing. I love ideas. I love strategies and I would love to help you in your journey. I seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I love helping new guys start businesses and just help you grow. So uh, if you're interested, click the link below. I'd love to chat with you. Uh, click like guys, subscribe to hear more of this awesome, valuable information that I'm putting out consistently now. So thanks guys for joining in. My name is Ivan with Thriving Home Services and I will see you guys in the next one. Boom!